well, today is the first day I had taken Salajit, and it actually improved me extremely well. I took about three sips and my usual vitamins for the night, and I had noticed an ancient type of remedy that, and an ancient type of practice that had occurred. So with schizophrenia, mental illness, and voodoo, witchcraft, things like that, there's rumors and studies in nursing that in the past people used to draw a hole in to release some sort of souls and or things that were stuck within the skull of a person's mind. These are old ancient remedies and treatments that people used to do to treat mental illness. And they were obviously dangerous. However, after drinking this very drink and reading with my senses really high, I did feel some sort of prick into my skull, which is believably normal for my old ancient skull. As I do believe that I still have the same very exact skull that I did mention in the other video. So, it was a prick towards the top left part of my head. Almost centered towards the front of my head. This hole was approximately 4 millimeters big in a uh, in a circle and what I had felt is that it was a tiny prick and it was a natural instinct of instinct of my natural skulls enactment to this type of treatment and when it went in as a sort of a suction and or dent, not dent, and or um, prick that went in from the maneuver of my skull itself, I had felt presence of something in the readings of energy in terms of high senses similar to bats and vampires, that it is obvious that a bunch of lingering supposedly what feels as souls that were trapped inside had left when we were speaking about my obvious my obvious um, mindset and everything I do feel that I am coming to Susukati in time meaning that I am coming to reality and or presence of my real self and well-being as in terms of reality and really at where I'm supposed to be. So obviously this took a span of perhaps 30 minutes to actually work as I did feel my chest started to move and the breathing started to move and after a few moments of movements within my lungs and readings of my chest, that was when that prick and puncture of the top of my skull had gone down and the lingering bad things had left. So what I had noticed in the past month was that the piece that was connected to the back of my skull, uh, towards the bottom of my skull, has been removed with the amount of stress and perhaps thoughts upon conversations and telephones and confusions with voices and things like that. It was probably natural for my body to remove that as evolution does occur and it is most likely time that it left meaning 
but I probably do not need a telephone wire and a cassette tape to have a conversation with someone within my thoughts. So it's an obvious sign that those type of bone structures in the beginning actually did let me hear myself better. As in a way I heard echoings in my voice and within my within my conscience and mind that I could hear myself speak better. But the moment the phone wire and the cassette tape the slack got on, that was when it was going downhill. So as of today after the Salatit, I had decided to sit okay, sit and tie means like conscious and like where you're supposed to be, you know? So Obviously, it is similar to this very drink. Somehow, I find it similar to some sort of Egyptian drink, as the name is called that very way. It is very strong in taste, and the scent is very strong, and it does smell like a really old, old, ancient remedy. Anyways, I am going to see how it goes tomorrow and hopefully everything goes for the better.